Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you know, over the last while, I've been posting some videos regarding the progress um, that Microsoft has been doing on their work with their One Outlook email client app, which is a new um, Outlook app for both Windows 10 and 11. And in case you were unaware, um, what Microsoft um, is trying to aim for with this new One Outlook app is that they are trying to unify all the existing email clients to help users manage their email across different platforms. Now, once again, this is just another video to keep you updated as there have been some new developments um, which have been posted over at the Office Insider blog on the 17th, which was yesterday in my region. And the app is now called New Outlook for Windows and is available to Office Insiders in the beta channel to try out and test. And how you do this is if you are running a beta channel build, um, you can just toggle, as you see here in the image, you can just toggle the switch on in the top right to try the new Outlook for Windows out. Now, I thought in this video, um, just to keep you updated and in the loop, I would just go through some of the key highlights from the release notes um, um, as um, if you are using the Outlook app and the Outlook email client currently, this might be of interest to you as this will be rolling out to the general public in the future. So just to go through these uh, as quick as I can, um, they say uh, um, that there's a new Microsoft loop. And according to the uh, image and the description, they say that with Microsoft loop components, everyone can edit and share their thoughts while staying in the flow of their work and the app they are using as an example, Outlook or Teams. And then the next highlight here is you can now find and attach important documents simply and quickly. And Microsoft says regarding this um, new uh, uh, highlight is that um, finding the document you want to attach to a message can be tricky um, if you don't remember where you saved it. So basically with the new Outlook for Windows, this is going to be a lot quicker. So Microsoft says in Outlook, you can already at mention someone to add them to an email message. And now you will also be able to do the same for at files and at documents as long as they are stored in the cloud. Just at the name of the file and Outlook will show you options. So you can just start typing the name of the file and Outlook will show you a list of options. And then there's a new intelligent assistance. And how this new intelligent assistance works according to Microsoft, uh, is um, if you missed a message that the new Outlook for Windows considers important, it will automatically remind you about it and ask if you need to respond. And yeah, as we can see, I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but yeah, at the top of the inbox in the image, they say this message reminder will also be pinned at the top of your inbox until you dismiss it. And then you have a new My Day, which helps you use your inbox as your to-do list. And yeah, Microsoft says, and um, with the new My Day, it helps you stay in the flow of your work while connecting you to what is important. With the new Outlook for Windows and My Day, you can drag and drop email messages as tasks to your to-do, so you can return to the message at a more convenient time. And they say you can even use My Day to reserve some time in your calendar to complete those tasks. Just drag and drop a task into the calendar so easily keep tabs on what you need to do by dragging and dropping emails to your to-do list and then the last um, new highlight uh, just to uh, mention in this video um, is there is a new calendar view and um, according to Microsoft with this uh, new calendar uh, view the calendar board allows you to organize your most important stuff and manage it all in one view you can add calendars files to-do lists goals etc and as I say, it, it puts everything into a single view in your calendar. And as mentioned, this is now in the beta channel of, of the Office Insiders. So um, um, if you do use the Outlook uh, email client, um, this will be rolling um, out to the general public as mentioned in the future. And I will leave a link to this post down below as there is a lot more information here in case you're interested. And currently this is available um, yeah, in the release notes, it says the new Outlook for Windows is available to beta channel users running version 2205, build 15225.20,000 or later. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.